In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can access the new touch controls early for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. This is working in version 1.19.0, and I'm going to show you in real time that I actually have access to these new controls. It's really simple to do. Currently, the new controls are hidden behind beta slash preview, but with one simple change, it is possible for you to have access to these. You are going to need three things. You need Minecraft. It needs to be version 1.19.0. You need some kind of file editor. I'm using ES File Explorer and you need a text editor. I'm using this one called Quick Edit. ES File Explorer and Quick Edit are completely free and can be found on the Google Play Store. Once you're in your file manager, on the left hand side, scroll down until you find internal storage. Tap on that. The next thing you're looking for is the folder that says Android. Open that up. Then you're looking for the data folder. Tap on that. Then you're looking for the com.mojang.minecraft.pe folder. For me, it's on the right hand side. Open that up. You're then looking for files. Open that. Games. Open that. Com.mojang. Open that. Inside of here, you're looking for the folder that says Minecraft.pe. Tap on that. Inside of here, you're looking for options.txt. Open this up with whatever text editor you have. Now, you are looking for the number 12. Basically, it starts at number one. It goes all the way down to 390 for me here. But if you don't have the number 12, no problem. You are looking for control, which is CTRL underscore enable new touch control schemes by default it is set to zero all you need to do is change it to one and save it it's that simple now you're done let's go back to minecraft obviously these are your original minecraft touch controls so go to options go to settings and find touch now at the top you're able to change from classic to crosshair to touch let's start off with touch and as you can clearly see, our buttons have changed. It's the new schema. It's the new ones that are available. So for those who have been complaining, it's not available on 1.19.0. It's not properly available, but you can enable this yourself manually. Now, I haven't tried this on iOS. So if you play on iOS and you know any form of text editor or file editor, leave a comment down below. If we then go to settings once again, you go to touch, go to crosshair, this is like, I believe, like the more competitive PvP style right here. So you've got the auto sprint button. You have the attack button. You've got the touch, which I believe is the, the placing button. So this is the attack. This would be placing. You've got crouch. You've got jump. You can go up. You can go down. Now, one thing I haven't messed around with here is actual button size. So if we go to touch, scroll down, we're going to make this about nearly 80 yeah see you can even change it like this so go and enjoy it i know most of you have wanted to access these and i do have some good news to share about these and just to prove to you that we are on 1.19.0 here is a warden spawn egg there is our warden here is also the la and whatever other thing you want to search for let's type in mangrove for example we've got all the mangrove stuff available there as well and in case you do not believe me let's go to save and quit in real time you'll notice that i'm on version 1.19.0 so although we didn't officially get these new touch controls in 1.19.0 they are coming they're just not ready Another big shout out to Nick who tweeted this saying, looks like the control preset UI screen was changed. The screen for the video is bigger and descriptions were added for the options. So as you can see here, they've changed the touch control schema. You are going to be fully able to move the buttons to wherever you like. So this is the movement stick current. It says tap and drag joystick to move. Use buttons to sprint, sneak and jump. The next one is movement buttons, tap and hold arrows to move, tap and hold blocks to interact with them, 
And then you've also got use a joystick to move around, aim crosshair and use buttons to interact with blocks. It says stick and crosshair. So go and enjoy these controls while you can. It's really simple and easy to do. This pig is definitely about to die. So yeah, new controls, gotta access them via file managers. I'll see you all in the next video.